It's finally here after what feels like forever, teased along with the original Boomco Halo line with the pistol and the needler and even stuff like the brake flip and the Colossal Blitz, we finally have our hands on the Boomco Halo MA5 Assault Rifle in all of its oversized, not fitting in frame box glory. Now, why would you be interested in this? Well, you're probably a Halo fan if you're watching this video, and well, that would mean that you get a functional replica of the Halo Assault Rifle, and you don't have to pay obscene amounts of money for the Airsoft rep reproduction. But at the same time, you're probably also kind of a fan of Boomco, and if you didn't already know it, the MA5 Assault Rifle is made to be based off of the Rapid Madness platform, which was the original flagship blaster of the Boomco line. Kind of a weird flagship blaster because it didn't really have all that good of range, but it did have an immaculate firing speed and the capability of using 40 dart clips. So there was a lot to love there. But this is the Rapid Madness. It is uh, bulbous and ugly, really ugly. It's got the face only a mother can love. And yet it worked fine. I loved it. It's one of my favorite blasters. It's too big for what I want it to be, which is an SMG, but it's air powered. I don't have to worry about batteries or anything like that. It can use up to 40 dart clips and it fires insanely fast. It was a really, really, really good blaster. And again, it launched at the same price as the Halo Boomco Assault Rifle, which was $50. But this came with a 20 dart clip and like 30 darts and even a Boomco Smart Stick round. Stupid name for a thing. And right off the bat, I kind of have to look at this and wonder because while it is a heck of a lot more pretty, it only comes with two eight dart clips, 16 darts, and that's it, and the blaster, but for $50. Why? It doesn't even come with a smart stick target. Why? Why is it so hard to get these damn targets with our blasters? $50. $50. No target. Yes, I'm butthurt. It's okay. It's okay. It's uh take a look at the, the back of the box here and all of it showing off basically nothing. Um, the products are even the same that we already know, the Needler, Pistol, Brute Spiker, Targets and Darts. <sighs> it does show off that there's clip storage in the back of the blaster, which is pretty cool. And just shows us how to use it, which is identical to the Rapid Madness, except for the foregrip here is a pump, which is pretty cool. And, I mean, it looks a heck of a lot better. We'll get right into that, but I'm a little upset already. The back of the box reads, The UNSC MA5 Blaster, manufacturer Miss Raya Armory, entered service in 2395. The granddaddy of UNSC blasters, the MA5 is an iconic design used by every branch and division of the military, including the highly trained Spartans. I mean, Spartans are cybernetic, so shouldn't they be using weapons that are like, I don't know, higher caliber? Isn't that like the whole point of like the, the Magnum version of a pistol? What do I know? I mean, what do I know? Yeah, right off the bat, this thing is a lot better looking, at least, than the Rapid Madness. Size-wise, the Halo one's actually a little tiny longer. Just a little tiny bit. But uh, yeah, you can see the massive difference in not being bulbous and uh, compared to nice and streamlined, because this does have remade internals compared to the good old uh, Rapid Madness here. Now, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but it doesn't look like this has the whole, like, discharge button that the Rapid Madness is known for, so it looks like it might have some trouble releasing the air pressure in it. That's kind of annoying. I mean, that's kind of an important feature. Hmm. It does have a flap on the side here. That kind of uh, opens up as a clip passes through, but of course, on the other side, the ugly side, it's a hole right there to feed the clip in with this weird like arm thing right there which is 
not present on any other Boomco blaster I've ever seen, and I'm not quite sure what that's there for. And then, of course, the muzzle here. Well, you've got the, the fake little barrel right there, but of course the darts come out underneath of that. Overall, I find it extremely comfortable. Now, I did watch Janular's video on this because he had it up way before pretty much anybody else, at least in English, and he said it was uncomfortable. And I have to wonder what the heck he's talking about, but this is kind of the thing where, uh, you know, it's, some things don't work for other people. I happen to find this extremely comfortable. This is very, very nice. I love thumb hole stocks, I don't know why, and this is a very comfortable one. And the best part about this blaster is that it feels incredibly solid. I mean, maybe it's just after reviewing a whole bunch of budget blasters for a while, I'm just not used to something being incredibly nice, but this is really comfortable. The, look at that, look at how thick that, it almost looks like a real rubber backing plate right there. And it, it just feels really good. The cheek rest is amazing. I mean, you, you, I, I'm playing Halo. I, I mean, I haven't really played much of Halo. Uh, it's, it's been a while, but I'm playing Halo. I do have to knock it on. It's got a sticker there for the ammo counter. You know, it could have been like a plastic plate or something like that. But worse yet, the sticker isn't even centered. In fact, it is sort of coming off down here at the bottom, and I could peel that right the frick off right now if I ever so wanted to. That's incredibly annoying. Not that I would expect them to put anything like, uh, I don't know, like an actual working ammo. That would be impossible to do for them. But at the same time, they could have at least uh, put in a little acrylic window, maybe had an LED on it. For $50, I would expect at least that much, but... I'm guessing the Halo license is really expensive. But this is a pretty comfortable blaster. Now, how does it pump? That. And it is really, really hard to pump. It is what feels like a dual stage uh, pump, just like on the Rapid Madness, which is good. But my hand is sliding up and down this. And there's quite a bit of resistance. And it will fire without a clip being in there interesting but yeah it's definitely kind of difficult to pump i have to grip it very hard while the rapid madness in all of its glory has this nice comfy grip right here which is absolutely flawless this thing is really smooth and i just kind of i mean it's going for a replica look so they did what they could i'm not sure what the actual scaling is but it's a pretty large blaster it's you know, as big as anything else. I don't know if it's too scale with the game, but it's definitely, if you were to give this a militaristic paint job, it would look like a dead cell from the game. And I'm sure somebody somewhere is gonna make a little 3D printed cover that you can snap in here to close off the clip side. So, there's a lot to love here. Now, the original thing that I'm really more, you know, geared for is the fact that out of the box, this blaster will use Zombona's sniper clips, which is really important because those increase your FPS something like on an average of 16. And the Rapid Madness can't without some kind of extensive modification that I've never wanted to do. This has always been one of those blasters people cut the barrel off of because the barrel does nothing. But at the same time, it's it just doesn't look right to me with the barrel cut off of it. This uh, looks a lot better. And it can, here's one, right, here's one right here. It's, you know, not a good one. And if you're interested in these, there will be a video on them later. Or just check out some bonus channel. But if I put this in there, snaps right in. Pumps. Comes out the side. Not bad at all. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fill up one of the clips and see how well it actually works. But I'm not even going to bother with the clips that came with it because they're just little eight rounders, like the same kind that came with like the spiker. Maybe that was a six star clip. I don't even remember. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to fill up another 20 rounder and see what this thing does. All right. We've got one of the original blue. I don't know what gen clip this is. And we just kind of snap it in there. Now, it doesn't seem to have any kind of stop. That might be because I'm using one of the older clips. So let's kind of snap that in there just a little bit. We'll pump this thing up. And I mean, it's not terrible, but again, it you can hear it kind of rubbing on the plastic there. That is not super comfortable. 
I got a little bit more practice in this arm, I guess. And... Little bit of skippage, kind of expected, but it fires reasonably well. Nothing super amazing. Still has some air left in it, so I could have gotten a couple more shots off there. Nothing super groundbreaking to me. I am going to try it with the good old sniper clip here because this is supposed to drastically increase my performance and it has in basically every other blaster I've used. You get a nice satisfying pop when you use one of the sniper clips because all of the air release holes have been filled up. But again, I have to wonder why this thing is not skip it's like skipping darts it doesn't have a dart stop like i never had a problem with like the brake flip or anything like that and i would think that same kind of technology would have carried over into this thing but well see this aha see we're getting somewhere that stops so it could have just been that old clip let's see you should notice a different sound when i fire it through here Yeah, they come out a lot harder and come out like a little sideways and it still skipped two darts. Hmm. Hmm. That's not exactly that good. It can't be skipping darts like that, especially when I'm just kind of burst firing it. That's, uh, that's not the greatest. Now, the Rapid Madness did skip darts every once in a while, but nowhere near this bad. So I'm gonna fill up this clip one more time, or I'm gonna fill up a slightly different clip, and we'll see if it's still skipping darts and we solve the problem where it doesn't lock in when we first push the clip in. All right, so I've got another 20 rounder right here filled up. I put it in the kind of stock thing. It's got a very nice push button release, and it slides in there effortlessly and it doesn't really want to come out, so that's a really good design right there, and it's always nice to have, you know, dart storage in the back here. And then I filled up one of the clips that the blaster actually came with. Hopefully this shoots all of them. So does it lock in? It does. It does lock in. Pump it up. I feel like I've been doing this a lot lately. And... Okay. Fed through that one, no problem. Go ahead and get our second clip here. That one doesn't lock in and it's a different design. But I don't care if I miss like the first dart or something, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is it's skipping darts in the middle. So I'm just gonna go full auto here. I'm gonna have a lot of darts to pick up. We'll see if this thing can't do a lot better. That time it only missed the first couple so, hmm, seems like an issue where if you have the older clips, it is not going to reliably lock in place when you first shove that clip in, which if you think about it, is gonna slow down your reload, but if you don't mind missing like the first two or three darts, it's not gonna be an issue for you. This kind of system of just slapping a, you know, clip in there is really quick to reload and it's really easy to keep your blaster pointed at somebody and reload. I like it, I mean, I guess it's not really any better than feeding them up from the bottom. In fact, it's a little more intuitive and that has usually some kind of clip release, but what exactly is this thing that I'm holding? Is it worth the money? Well, right now at the full $50 price tag, that is definitely only going to rely on the fact that you are a Halo fan or you just hate the Rapid Madness, but you love its performance and you want something like that similar in the Boomco line and you're willing to pay a premium for it because right now you can get a Rapid Madness on like Amazon for half the price, if not way less. I got mine for $9. I bought an original one at 50 from Toys R Us, but they've been on sale. I mean, it's been out for a couple of years now. So the one I have, you know, I have new in box ones back there for practically nothing. This is a much better design. I'm gonna fully admit that right now. It doesn't have some of the cool things like the tactical rail down here, which I liked. In fact, it has no, none of the Boomco tactical rails whatsoever, but eh, it works. It works fine. Like I said, it does have the ability to use those sniper clips, although the one I was using, you know, just 
had darts come out kind of sideways, which was a little awkward. Now I do have a couple of, you know, the sniper clips in the making right now. And we'll see those a little bit more when they're done. I actually have a chronograph coming as well. That should be here Monday. So I'll most likely revisit this and do a comparison between the two. From my naked eye, they seem almost identical. They seem to be shooting nearly the same. I'm not sure if chronograph readings will co corroborate that or not. It does have a little bit of an annoying not perfection right there, but I, I can only complain so much. My biggest criticism is that it doesn't have one of the little storage things, which lets you easily drain all of the air out of the blaster, which even the Busby Destiny included. So is it worth buying? I think that's the most important question of the day here. And I'm gonna say it is comfortable. It does work. If you're a Halo fan, you're gonna love it. Other than that, I would wait for it to go on sale. I think, you know, $30 would be a good price to pay for something like this. It is very nice. The clip storage does work insanely well. It stays in there very tightly and has a simple push button to remove it and I think it would even work with the 40s. Let's check just really quick. Obviously, you're not going to get one of these through, you know, the entire blaster completely without modification. Even works with the 40s. It's a little uncomfortable because it sticks down so far, but it does work. And that's just down to the fact that the bladder doesn't hold that much air now. How many pumps does it take to fill? even hear an overpressure release kicking in. I can't hear anything. I mean, that was less efficient because I didn't have a clip in there, but yeah, it's it's not going to get off an entire, entire 40 dart clip without modification. There's no way. It's just, it's not going to do it. So, it's a, it's a fun blaster, but if you were expecting anything more than a a better design rapid madness uh, that's not what you got i do like it i think it's great i will most likely rock this in a war or two it feels really good i love how it has the little even though it's a sticker a little heads up display right there i do wish there was a little bit more to it i could complain about that all day i want the otherwise you know it is what it is. What do you think about the Halo MA5 Assault Rifle? Did it live up to your expectations? Go ahead and let me know down in the comment boxes below. I mean, I like it. It's, I was probably going to like it anyway because I like the Rapid Madness and this is just a better designed one. I am glad to feel that the ergonomics are not terrible because I was a little worried about that. I'll chalk that up to my tiny tiny hands but yeah it's not bad i don't know if i'd recommend it unless you're a huge halo fan i'm walcom s7 thank you very much for watching this video and of course i hope to see you in an entirely different one i would have been your dad